The biggest change in Veo 3.1 isn't power, it's control. Look at that dragon. Yeah, with the new start and end frame feature in VO 3.1, your camera moves finely follow your plan, like this. And the new ingredients to video feature lets you feed in three images as your key elements, and it keeps them consistent from start to finish. And here's the cool part. Audio now works across all features. So let me show you a few examples of what this new AI video generator can really do. And for all these tests, I'm running everything inside OpenArt because it gives you access to all the major AI video and image models in one place. All right, let's take a quick look at how it works. For the ingredients to video feature, actually you can find the video section right here, then switch over to element to video. Under the model options, you'll see VO3. From here, you can upload up to three images. I'm using one photo of myself, a photo of a cheetah, and another one of a canyon. Then you just drop in your prompt. If you want to try it yourself, I put my full prompt sheet in the description. Feel free to copy it. Next, make sure audio is turned on. Set the quality to 1080p and hit create. All right, let's take a look at the result. VO 3.1, you actually let me play with this big kitty. Well, all the reference elements are there, the ambient sound is on point, the voice is pretty clear, and honestly, this one turned out really solid. The character consistency is also surprisingly on point. Let's try another one. This time, I used Nano Banana to turn myself into an astronaut, set the environment photo to Mars, and replaced the last element with a kite. So, let's see what happens. Ever wondered what it's like to fly a kite on Mars? Okay, the overall vibe of the video is still pretty good, but why did it change my hairstyle? And the Mars environment doesn't really match the image I gave it, so consistency is still hit or miss in this feature. But what about the start and end frame feature? I've used this feature before on Hilo 02, and it actually lets you control the camera movements and the transitions, so your video ends up looking way more dynamic than you'd expect. But the downside is, it has no audio. With VO 3.1, your video comes with sound automatically. Just switch over to image to video, pick the VO 3 model, and yeah, as you can see, you can also choose from a couple of other models. Then upload a POV style first frame and a last frame, paste in your prompt, and have this guy travel from the middle ages all the way to the modern day. Here's the VO 3.1 version. Turn on audio, choose 720p or 1080p, they cost the same credits, set it to 16.9 and keep fast mode. And here's what I got. Veo 3.1 can take you anywhere. Wow, look at that transition. Jumping from medieval times to the modern world, and especially the moment where the bear transforms into a car. That's kind of crazy. But honestly, the running animation looks pretty natural, and even his facial expressions are surprisingly good. And of course, it's not just POV shots. You can also try different kinds of camera control. Like this example right here, a top-down drone dive shot, locking onto one of the race cars to simulate a real F1 broadcast, just like this. That high altitude dive is powerful. I really like the sound design. It feels super realistic, but you probably noticed it too. One of the cars suddenly turns into another one. So yeah, you might need a few tries to get a perfect take. Now, the start and end frame feature isn't limited to generating an eight second clip. If you use the last frame of one video as the first frame of the next, then technically you can create an infinite length video. Here's a quick look at the final result. As long as your shots are planned well, the transitions can look very natural. From my experience, your images need to be very similar so the cut feels smooth and the model doesn't mess things up. What do you think? I also tested this dinosaur example to see if VO 3.1 can express emotion just through camera language, just like what you'd see in a movie. 
Here's what I got. I think the charging effect kind of breaks the mood, and the camera motion isn't exactly what I imagined. Honestly, I still prefer the version I made earlier with Hilo Zero 2. Now, aside from cinematic shots, I wanted to try something more commercial. So, I used these two photos and this prompt to see if VO 3.1 could make a perfume ad. And yeah, VO 3.1 is actually great for this kind of aesthetic. The sound effects before and after the water splash are completely on point. All right, I'm curious, out of all the tests today, which one made you think, yeah, I'd try that? Because for me, after spending time with these two new features, it really feels like VO 3.1 is shifting from surprise me to let me drive. And honestly, that's a good shift. More control means fewer random surprises and videos that actually look like what we pictured. So if you've got ideas, challenges, or weird prompts you want me to push further, drop them below. I'm always listening.